What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying the twin tailed crappie jig. This is a pattern I came up with through a lot of experimentation and I'm happy where I landed with it so now I'm going to show it to you. So to tie this one I'm starting off with a 1 16th ounce jig head. I put a 3 millimeter eye on there. I like the yellow on the black it just looks really good no matter what pattern you're fishing. Just going to use a black UTC ultra thread 70 denier. Start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail I'm going to be using two bubblegum pink marabou feathers. So I'm going to take one of those feathers and measure it so that it's about the length of the hook shank. You want to place it on the side of the jig as much as you can because we're going to have two of them. So pinch it down there and give it a few tight wraps of thread to tie it down. And then now we can pull it down to the side. There we go. Now we're going to tie over that same area again with some really tight turns to make sure it doesn't move around. Then we're going to grab our other marabou feather and put it right up against that one so that we have the same length. And we're going to tie this one on the opposite side. So pinch it down, tie it down tight. Give it four or five good turns before you let go. And then if you need to, you can pull it down on that side as well. Just make sure they're on exact opposite sides. Then we can tie the rest of those down to the head. Once you get about up to the head, you can clip off the butt ends. It doesn't have to make it all the way to the head. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. But there we go, once those are clipped off, you can just go over the fluffy areas with your thread. And this will create a nice straight body. Now we're going to bring the thread back down to where we tied in the tail. Just make sure you hold those down so they don't move around. Now we're going to do a three turn whip finish just to make sure our thread doesn't slide around because we're going to have to flip this jig around in the vise quite a bit. As you can see that'll just trap our thread so it can't come loose. And now we're going to use our bodkin to separate the tail fibers so that we have two tails. Grab all the fibers on one side the best you can and take your thread and wrap behind those. Once you get a wrap of thread behind those, make sure you keep your thread nice and tight and then you can do a few turns right in front of the tail and this will just separate those tail fibers. Now grab all of the fibers on the other side and do the same thing. Put a wrap of thread behind those. That'll make those fibers stick right out. And then now we just want to take our thread and put it up to the head. For the body, I'm going to be using this Winter Run Purple New Age Chenille. I'm just going to take a piece of that and tie the butt section at the head and then tie the rest down to where the tail is. Once you got it tied down tight, bring your thread back up to the head and we can start winding our chenille just right at the tail. Make sure you separate the tail fibers of the marabou so that they don't get stuck under the chenille and start winding that and press each turn up against the last to create a nice seamless tight body. Tie it all the way up to the head. Once it's there, you can tie it down with your thread, get a few good turns behind that chenille. And then if you'd like, you can do a turn in front of the chenille and clip that off. There we go, we got a nice body with a very slight taper. And now we're going to whip finish. So get your whip finishing tool and do a five turn whip finish just to finish this off. Pull your thread tight and cut your thread. So that's it, that is the twin tailed crappie jig with the marabou tails. It looks pretty cool, those tails stick out on opposite sides. Uh, it looks cool dry, but let me get it wet real quick and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, those tails really separate and they give the jig a really cool look. When it's in the water, it has a lot of action and those tail fibers 
squeeze together like this when you jig it and then when you give it slack it goes to this resting state where the tails stick out. It just creates a really cool action that really entices fish to strike. I haven't seen anybody tie anything like this for crappie. I had a lot of fun coming up with this and it really works so try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe.